We are hearing from Hardin Valley Academy parents refusing to send their children to school. Their decision follows an email from school leaders yesterday about a potential threat. 10 News reporter Maria Guzman spoke with one mother who is among a group of parents with concerns about safety. Maria. Robin John, this is just a snapshot of what campus looked like today. Empty lots, a few cars and parents that were picking up their kids from classes. One parent tells me she always sends her daughter to school, but to, but not today. Today in Hardin Valley Academy, a parking spot set open and life at school was much quieter. Just keeping her home was going to make me feel like I had a little bit more control over her safety. A message from the school principal Tuesday afternoon at 2 p.m. informed parents of a potential threat on Wednesday. At 7.30 Tuesday evening, the principal Rob Spees sends a follow-up saying he couldn't share more details, but was working with the sheriff's office and school security. Wednesday morning around 9.30. Principal Spees sends another message saying the school held a pre-planned lockdown and deputies swept the building. Parents forward all messages to 10 News. That's what's making every parent question. How is this going to be handled if it is a real threat and if there is something that actually comes of one of these threats? It comes six days after the high school had a scare after a gas valve was left open overnight. Jay Kosterman now faces charges in that case after authorities say he left the valve open on purpose. After a fight with his mother, school let out early, but it raised questions for parents. I lack a little bit of confidence in the school's decision-making ability. She says school leaders are not transparent to the questions of student safety. When you aren't answering those questions from parents directly and honestly, um, you shake faith um, and you lose a little bit of trust on the parent to end. Maria joins us once again and Maria, it is unusual for us to report a school threat unless authorities make an arrest. Again, this case is unusual. John, we've heard for more than a dozen parents about Heart and Valley Academy over the last week. We've also contacted Knox County Schools with questions about communication and the messages parents received over the past 24 hours. They have not responded. Parents tell me they will be at the Knox County Board of Education meeting tomorrow. All right, Maria, we appreciate the update.